Time now for Top 10 Performances presented by the Xfinity 10G Network. And we're going to show you the best players that we have from today, 1 to 10. But let's start off on the back half of the list from 10 to 6 yeah. with Carson Beck and J.J. McCarthy finishing it off for us. Uh, great performances from these guys today, especially J.J., Sam. Yeah, and I'll say bounce back performance, too, for Kyle McCord. I mean, there were some questions as to whether or not he was going to be the guy for Ohio State. I think he answered a lot of questions here today. Not so much for Cade Klubnik, although he played a little bit better. Yeah, definitely. Drew Allard, a guy who is literally putting Penn State on his back, Penn State on his back with the way that he's playing under the center. Now let's move into the top five. Take a look at Woo. this. Man, Tyler Van Dyke, yeah. five touchdowns on the day. And, of course, we got two Colorado Buffaloes in the top five yet again, the same way we had it last week. And then we got Sam Hartman and Marvin Harrison Jr. Let's start with Sam Hartman, though, Sam. He played really well today, and his numbers are next level when it comes down to the first the, to the first couple of games yeah. that he's played for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. I think Sam Hartman has kind of defined himself as the guy in a perfect fit for Notre Dame. I mean, he balled out today for the Fighting Irish. 45-24 mm -hmm. win over NC State, delivered 286 passing yards, four tutties. Look, here's what he's done in the first three games as a member of the Fighting Irish. Get this. 48 for 64, 10 touchdowns, no interceptions, Ooh. 731 yards. I don't think that he could have found a better place to go than Notre Dame. I mean, this was just the right fit for him at the right time, and he's got that broken uh, rib, too, in the necklace. I mean, he's a yeah. wildcat. You never know what you're going to get. But this is just the right place for him. All right, so we have Sam Hartman at number three. He's playing really well yeah. at number two. You heard me talk about him earlier in the show. We got to give Shadur Sanders the crown. It's he about time. Dominant, 393 yards passing and scored three total touchdowns. What stood out to me the most about Shadur today is his escapability yeah. in the pocket. The way that he bought time and made plays was Patrick Mahomes-esque. And then, as you saw earlier in the show, he had some smoke for the coaches on the Nebraska side for some of the things that they said. Listen, Shadur is now a Heisman candidate. Uh, he wasn't on the radar for everybody when the season starts, and you got to love to see those stories. A guy who has a chip on his shoulder, and I said it last week as well, Tom Brady is one of his mentors, yeah. and he's almost playing with the same fire that Tom Brady had, and he got a text from Brady last week, and he basically told him, don't get comfortable. All right, now at number one, who we got? We got Tyler Van Dyke, eh? A.K.A. Tyler Van Dimes led the yes, U-Pass Jimbo Fish. A lot of question marks there with all the talent that Jimbo's got down there at College Station. But, uh, I mean, this is an incredible performance. Five touchdowns for Van Dyke, 374 yards. Uh, I'm sure we're going to be seeing them in the rankings very, very soon. And that was our top ten performances presented by Xfinity 10G Network. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.